beam design using timber or wood, uh, it follows the almost the same uh, structure. Um, basically no difference as steel so uh, whatever we have done for steel beam design we do the same thing for uh, the timber beam design however steel uh, typically the white flange beam are used in steel uh, something like this uh, this is for steel uh, white flange beam uh, but in uh, wood uh, or timber, they are typically a rectangular cross section like this, so like that. So there could be a lot of different shapes, like two by four. It could be a two by six, and so on. Uh, so woods are like that. One of the difference between steel and wood is their uh, strength, stress strain diagram. So steel kind of follows like this. Um, so that's the stress sigma this way is the strain modulus of elastic uh, sorry the strain uh, ratio of deformation and then this way uh, for wood this is for steel uh, and then for wood it just go like this and it breaks right here so the yield point and the uh, ultimate point for wood are same uh, wood does not go under plastic deformation so there is no plastic deformation no plastic deformation so it just break after the proportional limit so this is the proportional limit uh, proportional limit and it breaks right after that however it's still after the proportional limit so that's the proportional limit uh, PL and then it also goes a uh, quite a lot plastic deformation under some plastic deformation um, so in the steel case we have used if you remember for the um, calculate how big size we need uh, for a beam we have calculated ZX is equal to uh, some factor of safety times M divide by the bending stress instead of bending stress we have used fy deal point converted that using the factor of safety but in wood it doesn't go under plastic deformation so there is no property of something called plastic deformations the only thing wood has is a um, proportional limit so simply straight s equals um, m by f uh, B. Now, for the wood, the allowable stress is can be found in the appendix, so we don't have to worry about applying some factor of safety or anything from the wood table. This F B is basically a B max. It's the same thing as a B allowable that you can get from the uh, uh, table in the back of the book. So, for the wood material, number one, we calculate the um, section modulus how big beam we need by using this formula and this FV bending stress can be directly found from the appendix table now the second thing we do is check for um, deflection is it going even though let's say it is good based on this um, uh, bending stress is it okay with respect to the deflection so um, typically for like the steel beams we'll only be using the equation method to calculate we'll simply try to simplify all the problems so that we can use the equation method so uh, basically to calculate use the equation method equation method of calculating the deflection and then check that with the limit so whatever maximum deflection we calculate that should be under some um, given limit and that will be given in the question or how much it is um, it can deflect the maximum limit it should be less than the and this part we can get it from the equation number three same thing we do the shear stress checking this is even easier than the steel beam so for the woods it's a simple shear stress formula fv equals uh, shear stress is basically any stress equal force by area that's it that's the formula 
uh, and then you just calculate the shear stress equal to fv times a now uh, oftentimes in design there is a factor of safety added to it so you know basically it is um, just multiplied by um, divide by whatever we calculate that is divide by 1.5 so fv by a a b a by 1.5 so this should be this is the maximum that can um, that's the beam we have chosen in step number one can carry shear stress and then we can check uh, our actual shear stress that is um, imposed on the beam so for example this beam let's say simply supported beam uh, like that and then there is a stress here so we'll, we can get the maximum uh, share is uh, share force so how much maximum share is force um, caused by the external loading p and then we compare that how much this beam can take uh, all the calculations are based on the initial choice that we made here so we we calculate this um, sx um, the section modulus for the loading condition for the loading condition we get that m this uh, uh, moment and then the bending stress can be found in the appendix and then we calculate this um, uh, section modulus and then we choose a beam after we choose the beam we calculate the deflection for that beam we calculate the um, we calculate the um, shear force for that beam and then we see whether it's crossing the limit um, and then also crossing the limit in, in terms of the deflection. So this is a little bit easier than the uh, steel formulas. Um, so that's it about the beam design using timber.